Before we dive deep into German army uniform camouflage patterns, I would like to note that the German army used camo patterns even during the First World War. The average infantry trench was deep enough to allow men to stand up or travel along its length completely unobserved by the enemy and protected from his rifle and machine gun fire. Nevertheless, the most exposed part of a soldier under these conditions was usually his head. Introduced in 1916, the German army M1916 Stahlhelm was a fairly advanced protective design for the time, covering not only the crown of the head, but the sides and neck as well. The first German examples of personal camouflage to emerge during the war were hand-painted helmets. Although each helmet was essentially unique, as they were personally printed by their owners, the designs themselves were similar and tended to consist of geometric shapes of light colors divided by black or dark colored lines. The earliest known camouflage pattern developed for mass production to German military forces was the Bund Farbendruck 31, introduced in 1931. The pattern was later renamed Heres Splitter Muster 31 or Army Splinter Pattern circa in 1936. This camouflage design was later used widely on the Zeltbahn 31. Each German soldier was issued with a Zeltbahn 31, a triangular shelter quarter that would create a suitable four-man tent when buttoned together with three additional pieces. The coloration of the two sides uh, was different, but both printed in a splinter pattern. The pattern would also be utilized on for a number of uniform items during World War II and was the basis of the Luftwaffe Splitter Muster camouflage pattern. Luftwaffe or Air Force Splitter Muster 41 was a scaled down version of the Heere Splitter Muster 31 and was used for some Luftwaffe uniforms, for example the Knochensack or Bonesack, the jumpsuit of the German paratroopers. The Fallschirmjäger Truppen or the parachute troops of the German armed forces utilized a unique camouflage design on their silk parachutes consisting of large mid-green and brown blotches on khaki tan background. Swatches of this fabric were often employed as scarves by both German and Allied troops during the war. Next came the Wehrmacht Stumpfmuster 43 or Marsh Pattern 43. This pattern still has the geometric shapes of the Heere Splitter Muster, but additionally some blurred shapes on top of them giving the pattern a much better camo look. This was used for garments from 1943. Next came the Wehrmacht Stumpfmuster 44 or Marsh Pattern 44. The geometric shapes are now gone. This also was used for garments from 1944. And last came the Leiber Muster, which was the final camouflage pattern deployed by the German army during World War II. It should be issued to both Wehrmacht and Waffen-SS soldiers, but it seems that it was mostly issued to Wehrmacht soldiers in Czechoslovakia in the very end of the war. The pattern, named after the brothers Leiber, their creators, was issued on a very limited basis to combat units before the war ended. It consists of bold irregular areas of black printed over brown and green on a pale background. Reproduction Leiber Muster uniforms were later made both in China and Turkey after the war.